I recently had something happen to me that's probably going to change my life for the worse, and also kind of for the better, I guess. Um, I was part of a heist. There was a miniature robbery, and I was an accomplice. I was shopping at a drugstore. Uh, it was not my local drugstore, by the way. I don't know why that's an important thing to know, but I had picked out a bunch of things that I was ready to make my own, and I was ready to pay, so I turned down an aisle to walk towards where, where you pay for stuff, and there was a, a, a little girl standing in the aisle, and as I walked past her, she turned around, and when she saw me there, she said, as only a little girl could say, don't look! I'm stealing! Whoa! Okay, oh well, uh, oh, the, the, the Jesus, alright, uh, well, the, the, I, I did not see anything. It, it, it's, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Uh, I, oh, I didn't, uh. And as I walked past her, she said, Would you like to see my mommy? But she said it in like a really snotty, shitty way. It was almost, it was almost like a threat. Like, you keep your fucking mouth shut, or I'm gonna introduce you to my mommy. And my mommy is actually a thug with a baseball bat who keeps motherfuckers like you quiet. So after she said that, I, I quickly said, no thank you, and just kept walking. The whole experience made me realize, and this is gonna make me sound like the oldest man on the planet, but the whole thing made me realize that kids these days, kids these days have it way too easy. They do. If they can be doing something terrible and just tell people not to look, and I mean, I turned my head and I kept walking like there was nothing to see. That's way too easy. And it also made me realize that I'm not having such an easy go if I'm so concerned that a five-year-old thinks that I'm cool. And you know what? Good for her. Good for that. I'm empowering that little girl. Because you know what? When I was a kid, I stole all the time. All the time. Not because it felt good, like I enjoyed the rush of taking things that didn't belong to me, but just because I was mad that there were things out there that other people had that I didn't. It's called being a successful go-getter. A lot like the big wig CEO company men who, uh, who see problems and then fix them with a solution and see immediate profit. I, I distinctly remember being a kid and being at somebody's house and picking up a container full of pogs and going, this fucking asshole has these and I don't? And then I immediately Donald Trumped it into my pocket and left. I had to be, I had to be real sneaky about it. I couldn't just tell people not to look. Kids these days have it so damn easy. Uh, and uh, anyway, um, hi, my name is Matt and I make videos every Tuesday and Friday right here on, on YouTube.com slash MattG124. Um, uh, I have a Twitter and a Facebook. There'll be links in the description. Uh, go check them out if this video tickled you. Uh, and other than that, I will see you on Friday for a brand new This First That, where we're going to discuss what's worse, something or another thing. Let's go, let's go, come on.